I grew up in an actually affluent part of Glasgow. Although I went to, so I lived somewhere really affluent and I went to really good schools, we had no money. We were very poor growing up. I had to have cardboard in my shoes when there was a hole. I knew we were poor because I was hungry a lot. I knew we were poor because I heard my parents talking about bills not being able to get paid. You're excluded a lot when you're poor because your choices are so limited. It's frustrating, I think, as well, when you're young and you can see how much your parents are struggling. And you're too young to understand why, but you just know that something is wrong. I have a few different health conditions and disabilities. So as soon as I open my eyes in the morning, I have to assess how much pain I'm in to see if I can actually function or not that day. My poor mental health and being in poverty are very much linked. They're seriously intertwined. Um, if I had good mental health, then I would have been able to work much more in my lifetime and I would probably feel a lot better about myself, which would continue to spur me into continuously changing and improving my life. But having poor mental health traps you into cycles of poverty that you feel that you have no way out of. It's systems that are in place in our communities and in society, and it's laws and regulations that have been made that if they were different, then I would have a much better chance of getting out of this situation that I'm stuck in. I know that economically it doesn't have to be this way. And I feel very much that there's much more as a society that we could be doing to change things.